Hey everyone, we're going to make a quick sketch of a basic tangent graph, y equals tangent, one half x. All right, we have the general form of the tangent equation for reference, and then an outline of this really easy method. So let's get started. In step one, we find our essentials, starting with a, or the leading coefficient. So we don't see anything here, that's an understood one, and that's going to help us with the y coordinates of our tangent curve shaping points in step two. All right, b, that's the coefficient of x. All right, in our case, it's 1 half. And we'll use this to find our period. So the formula for tangent is pi divided by b. So pi divided by 1 half, or multiplying by the reciprocal 2 over 1, is going to be 2 pi. So our period is 2 pi. That's the length of one horizontal cycle. All right, once I get my period, I like to divide it by 4 and use that as the horizontal scale. And this just ensures each of the key points in step two line up nicely with a horizontal tick mark. It makes for a nice clean graph. So let's do that now. Two pi divided by four reduces to pi over two, and that's how we'll count on our horizontal axis. All right, so let's just show one cycle here, counting by one pi over two. So we have pi over two, two pi over two is pi, three pi over two, four pi over two is two pi. This Fourth tick mark to the right of the origin should always match your period when you set it up like this. All right, then look at your value of a. That'll help you to determine a good scale for your vertical axis. Since a is one, all we need to do is count by ones, up one and down one. All right, so now we're ready for the big part. Our key points pattern for tangent always starts at the origin and the pattern just goes zero, upper curve shaping point, vertical asymptote, lower curve shaping point. So let's do that. Put your zero on the origin or x-intercept. All right, your first curve shaping point, the upper one I like to call it, happens at pi over two and you get your y-coordinate just using the value of a, so one. All right, then at your next horizontal tick mark, you'll have your first vertical asymptote here at pi. And then at three pi over two, you'll have your lower curve shaping point. And to get the y-coordinate, just use the opposite value of a, so negative one. Put that point right in the middle and then your pattern would start to repeat at two pi. So step three is all about just sketching in that nice tangent curve. And here is one cycle. I like to call this a broken cycle since the asymptote's in the middle. All right, if you want to extend this graph, you can just repeat the pattern in either direction. So asymptote would be right there. You can work the pattern backward if you'd like. Another asymptote. And so you see, we just have some really nice tangent curves for our quick sketch graph. So that's all we need for our sketch. It's a really nice graph. If you'd like to find the equation of the asymptotes, there's a really quick and easy way to do this. I'll show you briefly. So take your inputs of your tangent function. These are your horizontal transformations. So one half X and set them equal to pi over two plus pi K. Those are your original asymptotes for a Y equals tangent X graph. Now k is just an integer, depending on what integer you substitute in, you'll get a different asymptote along the graph. All right, so you have this set up. All you have to do now is solve for x, which essentially applies the horizontal transformations to the original asymptotes, and then you'll have the asymptotes you need for your graph. So very easy here to solve for x. All we really need to do is multiply the whole equation by two. All right, so we're left with x equals pi plus two pi k. All right, so practice here, substitute in k equals zero, you'll get that asymptote that we already have, x equals pi, that's when k equals zero. If you sub in k equal to negative one, you'll get this asymptote here, x equals negative pi. Okay, I don't have it labeled, but you can kind of work out that that's what it is. Substitute in one for k, and you'll see the asymptote that's just off our grid, x equals three pi. So it's a really easy way to find the equation for all of your asymptotes of your graph. And it's nice to be able to double check the accuracy of your graph this way as well. All right, hopefully this helps you. Be sure to subscribe for more worked graphing examples and lots of other tips.